Hello, and welcome to week four of SOL Prep, Solving Equations. Solving equations in the calculator, we can find the intersection points for each side of the equation. We can also use the store button to store each possible solution. Let's try some examples following these steps. Number one, what value of x makes this equation true? Notice that we have choices. When we have choices, we're going to get our graphing calculator, and we're going to use the store button to store the possible answers. So I'm going to start with the first one, negative 20. I'm going to type in my calculator, negative 20, and store, and then x. Press Enter. Then I'm going to type in this side of the equation and see what my calculator says. 3x minus 20, enter. I see negative 80. Let's write that. I got that down, negative 80. Now I'm going to type the other side, negative 2x, negative 2x, enter. I got 40. Does negative 80 equal 40? No, it doesn't. So negative 20 is not the correct answer. Let's try storing the next one, negative 4. Let's type negative 4, store, x, enter. Now I'm going to type this side of the equation again, and depending on the type of calculator I have, I could go up to where I already typed 3x minus 20 and just recall it by pressing enter. And now that it, my calculator knows negative 4 is stored for x, I'll press enter and it gives me the value with negative 4 substituted for x. So negative 32 for that side of the equation. Let's check the right side of the equation, negative 2x. So again, I can go back up and recall by highlighting the negative 2x, enter, enter again, and I get 8. Does negative 32 match 8 equal? No, it does not. Let's try the next one. 4, store, x, enter. I'm going to go highlight the left side of the equation. Enter, enter. I get negative 8 for the left side. And negative 2x is the right side of the equation. I think it's faster sometimes to just retype it. Enter, and I get negative 8. Does negative 8 equal negative 8? Yes, it does. So therefore, 4 is the correct answer, choice C. Example number 2, solve for n. In this equation, I don't have any choices. So when that happens, I'm going to find the intersection points for each side of the equation. Again, we'll do that in the calculator. So following the steps that it shows us here, we're going to plug in both sides of the equation into the y equals. y1 for one side, the other side y2. This side will go into y sub 1. Let's go press y equals in the calculator. Now notice that I have a fraction, and my directions for a fraction is alpha y equals 1, numerator, denominator, for any fractions. So that's what we're going to type here. Alpha y equals the first choice, so enter, and 6n minus 14. Now since the x button is easier to press, I'm not going to worry about what variable this says. I'm just going to use the variable button. So 6x minus 14 go down for the denominator 6. In y sub 2, I'm going to type the other fraction. So again, alpha y equals enter. And now 2x minus, whoops, let's go back, plus 5. And the denominator says 3. What's next in the directions? Press graph and look to see where your two graphs intersect. So I'm going to press graph in my calculator. First thing I notice 
I don't see two graphs. Now my calculator is still working, so I'm going to wait until it's finished working. I still don't see two graphs. So the first thing I want to make sure I'm looking at a standard picture. So I always press zoom six, make a standard picture that gives me 10 by 10 of a window. 10 positive, 10 negative, 10 positive, 10 negative. Now I do see two graphs, so this is good, but I don't see where they intersect. So let's look at the next step. If you do not see the intersection point, you zoom out, zoom three, enter, and repeat if needed. So let's press zoom three, enter, I see it graphing it again, and it looks like it has zoomed out, and now I do see where they intersect. So to solve, I'm going to press second calc number five for intersect, and then enter, enter, enter. So let's follow those steps next. Second calc, five is intersect, and then enter, enter, enter. And it tells me the intersection is where x equals 12. And that's what I needed is the value for x. So going back to my problem, I can write that x, but this is n, so n equals 12. So remember, the store button when it's multiple choice, the store button when it's multiple choice, but graphing both sides, one side into y sub 1, and the other side into y sub 2. Literal equations. That's equations with lots of letters in them, lots of variables. Use inverse operations to isolate the variable. PEMDAS backwards. SADMEP. Example number three. A data set with an even number of data points is ordered from least to greatest. The middle two data points are represented x sub 1, and x sub 2. This formula can be used to find the median of the data set. Which shows this formula solved for x sub 1? That means we need to get the x sub 1 by itself. So we have to undo what's over here near the x sub 1. We will use inverse operations to get x sub 1 by itself. Isolate x sub 1. So think about what we have on this side. x sub 1 has the divided by 2. What's the opposite of divided by 2? Multiply by 2. So multiplying by 2 to both sides of the equation, 2 times m. So we're looking for anything that has 2 multiplied to m. So I know now from process of elimination, it's either b or c. Then I have to get the plus x sub 2 to go away. What's the opposite of adding x sub 2? Subtracting x sub 2 from both sides of the equation. Which one of these am I subtracting x sub 2? Well, in both of them I'm subtracting, but this one I'm subtracting two of them. Here I'm subtracting x sub 2, so B is the correct choice. Finally, properties of equations. Properties of equations, like the associative property, will move the parentheses only, like this. The 1, the x, and the 3 stay in the same place, but the parentheses that were around the x plus 3 are now around the 1 plus x. That's of addition, multiplication works the same way, it's just using multiplication symbols instead of addition symbols. Commutative is when we change the order only, so see how the 2x and the 9 were first, and now the 2x and the 9 are in different places. The 9 changed place with the 3x. The 3x and the 9 changed places. They switched. Change the order is commutative change order, commutative. Inverse is when things cancel out, like a 6w and a negative 6w, or a 1 -fifth times a 5. Identity, the number stays the same, 
So adding 0 keeps its identity. Multiplying by 1 keeps its identity. Properties of equality is when we do the same thing on both sides of an equation. Like subtracting on both sides of equation is the subtraction property of equality. The distributive property is eliminating the parentheses by multiplying like this. 2 times 7x is 14x, and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Example 4, use the statements from the right to justify each step in solving the equation. The first statement will be given. Nothing happened to have this equation except it was given to us. In the second step, we needed to make the 4 go away. So notice what changed from here to here is we're multiplying by 1 fourth on both sides of the equation. Remember that properties of equality is when we do the same thing on both sides of the equation. So we're looking for a property of equality where we multiplied on both sides. So that's the multiplication property of equality. In the next step, we see that 1 fourth times 4 changed to 1. These multiplied together to make 1 because 1 fourth times 4 are inverses of each other. That is the inverse property, but which one? We multiplied, so that's the inverse property for multiplication. Inverse property of multiplication, not addition. Next, what changed? 1 times x became just x. The x kept its identity because when we multiply by 1, what we are multiplying to the 1 stays the same. So this is identity for multiplication. And finally, 24 divided by 6 became sorry, 24 divided by 4 became 6. Notice we didn't divide something on both sides. The x stayed the same. It's just that this was simplified. So we're just cleaning things up here. It's not a property in our list. It's just cleaning it up, making it simpler. Have fun with your practice. Thanks for watching.